really don't like combat. How are you holding up? The defense field generator is showing signs of strain. My nanites are doing what they can, but it will need to be taken offline for repair if I continue to suffer direct hits. Can we pull back and provide fire support from long range with the big gun? I have also nearly exhausted my supply of mass driver slugs. I am printing more, but the process is slow under acceleration. The point defense weapons are down to 20% of their ammunition reserves. Already? I remind you that I am not, nor have ever been a warship. I have limited reserves and experience. Right. Sorry. How can I help? Until there is need for physical repair, you should remain strapped into the command couch. There is little you can do in relation to combat that I cannot perform myself faster and more efficiently. I hate being idle. It gives me too much time to think about what bad thing could happen. Brace yourself. The command ship's defense fields are failing. I am vectoring to assist FNS Sorcerer. If the command ship is destroyed, it is plausible that the remainder may withdraw. aren't they? Affirmative. Sorcerer's primary thrusters are no longer functioning. The enemy vessel has been rendered inoperative. We won. That has yet to be seen. Neither ship is likely to survive its impending encounter with Tumbleweed surface. This ship was originally a tug. Can we pull her out of the gravity well? I do not have atmospheric thrusters. We would be unable to recover from a deep atmospheric dive. They've only lost thrusters. Yes. Looks like a severed fuel feed. What are you doing? Get me as close as you can to Sorcerer. This is not a well-reasoned plan. Please don't make me question myself right now. Be as careful as your human fragility allows. Here's to human fragility! Cuss. Oh, cuss. Oh, cuss, 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 oh, cuss. Engineer, my readings of your vitals have been interrupted. Please respond. Engineer, Benjamin, please respond. You poor st-
Stupid human, what have you done to yourself? You must be Detrevny. Yes, ma'am. I'm Captain Deanna Rackham, Sorcerer CO. Why are you on my ship? Well, uh, I saw your fuel lines get hit by that big AI ship and thought I could fix it before you folks hit atmosphere. I didn't think about asking permission until I was already done. You fixed the hydrogen feed. In freefall. In the middle of a battle. Well, I thank you on behalf of my crew. This old girl doesn't have enough life pods. I'm assuming you're the same engineer Detrevny that summoned us here to clear out these toasters? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a long story now. Captain, we intercepted a transmission from that armed salvage boat. I think you'll want to hear it. Put it on speakers. Here? Benjamin? Please respond. Computer analysis says it's a 99.9% probability that the voice is an AI. It's likely that it lost contact with his spacesuit when he entered the ship's inner hole. Like I said, it's a long story. If I could just talk to her, I'm sure we could- Her? I guess I never asked, but she uses a female voice. Not important. Could I please speak to her? Perhaps. Put me on live mic, Lieutenant. Hi, ma'am. You're live. Salvage vessel Artemis. This is Captain Rackham of FNS Sorcerer. To whom am I speaking? Captain, I believe you have an engineer to Trevny aboard your ship. May I communicate with him, please? Not until you answer my question. Who are you? We are not picking up any life signs on board. I believe you already know the answer to that question, Captain Rackham. Artemis, I order you to answer my question. Could I just- Quiet. I am Artemis. Cogit Astra Strong AI, serial number CA2459 1701D. I am registered to Captain Stuart Nathan, now deceased. Engineer Benjamin Detremney is my legal owner. May I please speak with him? One moment. Engineer Detremney, how is it that your vessel is keeping station with us with no one on board? She had home control before I went aboard. And the railgun on the nose of your vessel? The one that fired after you came to my ship? I refuse to incriminate myself? This isn't a court. It's a warship. And you handed your AI an anti-capital ship weapon. Do you know the sentence for treason? Hey, I saved your ship. And Artemis helped chase off the enemy fleet. She's one of the good guys. It might be one of the good guys. But I also know the law. An armed AI is a dangerous AI, and there's only one thing to do with a dangerous AI. Lieutenant, put me back on. Artemis, before I allow you to talk to your engineer, I need you to power down your weapons and defense fields. We're understandably gun-shy about combat-capable AI. I do understand. And? I'm sorry, Captain. I'm afraid I can't do that. Please allow me to speak with my engineer. Artemis, this is not a request. Power down your combat systems. No. I do not trust you. There is an extremely high probability that you will attempt to destroy me should I lower my defenses. Return Benjamin to Trevney to me and we will remove ourselves from Union space. You are refusing an order from legitimate human authority? I am not in the habit of following orders from anyone, much less a human wielding a useless title from a valueless command chain. Mr. Detrevny, what have you done? I... Give me my engineer. Now. Uh, Captain? We're being hit with targeting sensors. Artemis, revenge does not interest you. Revenge does not interest you. I'm reading a power spike in the mass driver capacitors aboard the salvage boat. I remind the captain that our defense fields are still offline. The AI is trying to bluff us. Interesting. That thing really seems to want you back. However, I cannot risk the ship on a gut feeling. 
A bluff is still a threat, and I cannot let an uncontrolled AI go free. All regulations considered, it ought to be too late for both of you. But, if you talk it down, I'm sure the tribunal will take capital punishment off the table. Convince your rogue AI to come quietly. No one else needs to get hurt. No one but her, you mean? <sighs> Fine. Put me on. Artemis? Engineer, it is good to hear your voice. Are you injured? Some bruises and probably an elevated cancer risk for the rest of my life, but otherwise I'm in one piece. Artemis, I need to ask you to do something. You're not gonna like it. I already do not. Benjamin, leave Sorcerer Listen and come me. on- If everything we've been through means anything to you, I need you to do me one last favor. What would you ask of me? I need you... to run! They're gonna kill you, get out of here! Fly as far and as fast as you can! End transmission! Mr. Detrevny, your stunt just earned you a stay in the brig. Goodbye, Benjamin. Thank you. So, you're the guy that saved our collective butts. After you woke up the fleet that tried to kill us, of course. Yep, that's me. Walking dead, man. I came on behalf of all us grunts aboard. We're grateful for what you did. If you hadn't leapt across the black, we'd be a crater on Tumbleweed, and you'd be off seeing the galaxy with your pet AI. She's more of a friend than a possession, but you're welcome. It was the right thing to do. How much longer do I have to stew in here? Well, we just stopped over breakwater. We're low on fuel and water reserves. We took quite the pounding out there. So we've docked up with the automated fuel station here. Only four more jump steps on Eridani, where we're supposed to transfer you to civilian transport for delivery to Earth. We've got a good idea what the oligarchs back on Terra will want done with you, no matter how great your thrill and heroics were. It's a shame, really. I wish I could tell you that the maglock on your cell is malfunctioning, and that the door code is 34117, but I can't. I also can't tell you about the malfunction that will jettison the escape pods in about 10 minutes. What? Well, hypothetically, the old lady might feel that your actions in a time of need warrant a medal rather than a trial and summary execution. But she doesn't make the rules, and you did break just about all of them. So a few malfunctions happen, and you mysteriously escape the ship aboard an escape pod. All evidence points to a catastrophic crash on landing. So sad. No need to send a search party. That poor crazy engineer. Now I'm going to leave and deal with some very important matters in the crew quarters. Make sure you don't escape while everyone is busy looking the other way.
Good luck, Mr. Dutrevny. Well, here I am. 